All right, well, good evening. Good man. I am not prepared at all. Let me get that one. I'll turn down the music for you. A lot of people don't like the music. It's hard to hear the bullets and man with the music playing. But you're actually listening to the Neville Brothers and that's Yellow Moon. Herbie Hancock uh, leading the Neville Brothers. Great tunes, the Neville Brothers. You ever get a chance to see them? I highly recommend that. Even though Bulletin Manhattan has not seen them, I've heard wonderful things about the Neville Brothers. Now, you know what? They need to get the Neville Brothers to play the Jefferson County Fair or some good acts. Now, I did have Ted Nugent a couple years back. And uh, I checked that out, the Jefferson County Fair. But they need to get, like, Ray Jeans the Machine or something like that to play the fair. Judas Priest would have been a good one for the fair. But uh, I love it. I appreciate you stopping by today. I didn't come to talk about the fair. I had to turn the heater off down there, too. I came to talk to you about my new project, the Jefferson County Counter Meth Task Force. Now, what that is, is that uh, Bulletin Man's been doing a little investigative reporting. It's, I do that occasionally. And I found out that the uh, folks over at the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department and other sheriff's department throughout the state of Missouri are running a little game on you, the taxpaying citizen. And uh, they are terrorizing a lot of their own citizens in the meantime. Now, methamphetamine is a serious problem and it needs to be addressed, but I believe there are better ways of addressing it. Uh, of course, passing the pseudoephedrine ban is all great and fine, but you can still get 55 gallon drums of that stuff shipped right to your doorstep <laughs> if you know where to go. I mean, it, it doesn't take a brain surgeon to, to Google, uh, you know, uh, where you can get pseudoephedrine. It's made in five different factories throughout the world. So, I mean, that is not really going to solve the problem, folks. Uh, I mean, where there is a will, there is a way. Bulletin Man just thinks you need to legalize all the drugs, and then on top of that, give everybody a million dollars. And within six months, folks, uh, the drug problem would just pretty much solve itself. These people would go out and buy so many drugs, they would just go crazy and kill themselves. So, you know, I mean, that would probably be, in the long run, a wise thing to do. Hold on a second there. Young man, can I call you back? I'm in the middle of the Bulletin Man video broadcast, and you are going to be live worldwide. You realize this, don't you? Do you want me to say say your name to the world? The fifth quarter dot net. Look for it soon. The fifth quarter dot net coming soon to you. Check it out. All right, I will call you back, young man. See ya. All right. That is uh, my nephew Jacob, and he is now starting a, a new website called the fifth quarter dot net. Look for that if you're into the whole sports thing. I, Bulletin Man, really don't get into the sports thing because I believe and I understand and realize that the Communist Manifesto uh, clearly states to get the people interested in sports and that way they'll not worry about when you overthrow their country. But I'm talking about the Jefferson County Meth Task Force now, so you got to watch the Counter Meth Task Force because Bulletin Man's starting that. I'm also going to start the Bulletin Man's Policeman's Ball. I'm going to have a real law, enfor a real law enforcement expo the Bulletin Man's Policeman's Ball, and I think about April 23rd or 24th is when I'm going to do that. Uh, we're going to have a band, and we're going to invite all the police to come down, and, and I'm going to explain to them why we have such a problem with them, that, hey, we love you, that, you know, they're our neighbors, we're going to love our neighbors as ourselves, but we have a problem with you oppressing the na your neighbors and terrorizing your neighbors and, and, you know, riding on their backs, and, you know, and they're like little parasites, the police are. They don't protect and serve you, the general public. They protect and serve the corporations and the banksters and the lawyers who they all work for. And we really want police by the people, for the people, and, uh, you know, just for the people. Uh, against the police state we are about. So Bulletin Man's going to have that, and we're going to try to find a safe location to have that at. But, uh, you know, the Bulletin Man Policeman's Ball is going to be an annual event. I really need to do that. I owe it to my fellow police officers, my brothers-in-law, that uh, that I, they need to know why the people are so upset and pissed off at them. Because, you know what, when you start running around in mask, you got to realize, folks, uh, you're not going to win this war. You are the bad guys. The good guys always win. Haven't you watched The Lone Ranger? Come on. The Lone Ranger always gets his man. You know, sometimes I feel like the Bulletin Man is the Lone Ranger out here. You know, because the, the corruption is just so terrible. It really is. So I do love you. And I made another one of these earlier today, but I, for some reason it didn't get loaded up on the YouTube. So maybe the good Lord is telling me to make another one. So that's what I did. I'm trying to be obedient to what Lord would have me to do here in this last hour. 
I suggest that you get saved because Jesus is indeed soon to come. Don't know when exactly, but it can't be long. The decline is right on time. If you look around and see the signs of the time, they are everywhere. The cashless society is just about here. So prepare yourself. Get yourself a good King James version of the Bible and, and read read the chapter John. Uh, read that and read some of the Psalms and the Proverbs. There's a proverb every day. I suggest you read your Bible. Read it out loud. Meditate on that word day and night. And thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate in therein day and night. So do that. And as always, I ask you to tell a friend about the one and only Bulletin Man if you would. God bless you and God bless America. Take care.